Hi, I'm Paula Flo, Executive Director of The Hitting Stops Here, a campaign for teaching kindness and respect in schools everywhere. Is President Obama a hypocrite? On Tuesday, November 20th, 2012, the Wall Street Journal published an article about Obama challenging Myanmar, challenging them to make reforms, and criticizing Cambodia's record in Phnom Penh. The article opens with this statement, President Barack Obama using his Asia trip to make the first ever presidential visit to Myanmar called on the nation Monday to embrace American style democracy, where the military takes orders from civilians and human rights are respected. Is it possible for the United States to be a democracy with the National Defense Authorization Act in place, also known as the NDAA, and to compound the rights lost by U.S. citizens by the NDAA, the NDRP was signed in March 2012 which wiped away the checks and balances system in this country. The component of the U.S. Constitution that balances out all of the powers throughout the three branches of government. How does the USA have civil rights when 19 U.S. states permit American educators to take wooden boards and strike the school children in their care for gaining their obedience? just as old slave master had the right to do so on slave plantations during that sad era of U.S. history. Learn more and how to help. Visit our website, thehittingstopshere.com. Go to our website message board and review one message entitled there, Seven Ways to Support HR 3027. You will find in that same message a press release. We urge you to send it to local, state, and national media, asking that they publicize the Ending Corporal Punishment in Schools Act, H.R. 3027, 
introduced by New York Representative Carolyn McCarthy on September 11, 2012. This bill can be passed even to the last day of the present 112th Congress, which is January 2, 2013. And I know this is true because President Barack Obama signed the NDAA on December 31st, 2011, while Americans were reveling in the new year. So it is not too late for having safe American schools for all school children throughout the U.S. and its territories. This is the person who could end USA school beating. We're here at Senator Michael Enzi's office to let him know that we are filing a civil action lawsuit against John Klein. American school children are ready for a change that leads to their ability to pursue life, liberty, and happiness effectively, having gained social and academic skills from their professional American educators support an end to USA school beatings. Thank you.